Hi and welcome to another video of Waterfront Gurus and this time we went down to Miami and battled from Key Biscayne all the way to the ruins of Stiltsville. Stiltsville has a very colorful past hosting fishing, drinking and partying clubs during Prohibition in the 20s. There has been a lot of written about the history of Stiltsville so I've provided some links at the bottom if you're interested. The lodge from Eubanks, Cape, Florida State Park from the lighthouse or the beach where we lodged from, you can see the Stiltsville house in the distance if you look south. Eubanks State Park has a rich history in nature and lots of stories of the early settlers of the area. Yep. For paddlers and kayakers in South Florida, the Stiltsville area is easily accessible by launching from the kayak areas on the beach north of the lighthouse. The shortest path is only about one and a half miles of paddling to the flats. As soon as you pass the lighthouse, and while this is a short paddling route, there are very strong currents that can rip around the tip of Cape Florida. This is actually the northern boundary of a geographical feature called the Safety Valve. It's a mixture of shallow sandy seagrass flats and deeper tidal channels that transfer water from Biscayne Bay out to the Atlantic Ocean and vice versa. A lot of water moves through here twice daily. One of the main power boating channels runs through just south of the tip of Cape Florida where boats will be moving at full speed. Another main boating, ch main boating channel also runs right through the Stiltville village, a street of sorts. Do not linger in place in these high speed boating channels and make your crossings as brief as possible. color of the water here and how deep it is this is one of the boating channels and it ends right here as we get to the shallows look at how the color of the water is going to change as we reach the shallow area Here you reach the first flats. Uh, it's very shallow and you can actually stop by a little bit if you need some rest. There you go. Good. Oh, <laughs> oh my board is going. Go get oh, it. <laughs> Come prepared. Bring water, snacks, sunglasses, hat, and reef safe sunscreen. One more mile to the Stiltsville, over there. After getting some rest and some water, we pick up again on the way to the stilt houses. 
An important tip you should do this crossing while the tide is coming in, so that the current takes you into the bay and not out to the ocean. Tales of gambling and debauchery in the 30s to the 60s to appearances on Miami Vice in the 80s, Stiltsville in Miami has represented the wild and cookie side of Miami. <music> Here we are, after a few more minutes paddling, here we are at this first stilt house. We ended up visiting just one because the wind was picking up and we didn't want to get stuck there. The stilts view structures are quite robust, having survived several hurricanes. Still, rising sea levels and or the next big hurricane or fire could take them out. Chances are they would not be rebuilt, so while the future of Stiltsville looks good, it is not guaranteed. Here we are folks, we made it to the first house here, we're gonna go back in a little bit, we're probably not gonna explore the other ones because the wind is picking up, so we're gonna go back to Key Biscayne right there, there's Mina, come on Mina you can do it! You've made it to the stilts view Mina, yeah. how does it feel, what is the feeling? Alright. All right. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> right. Look where we are, folks. We're not gonna go to those. The wind is picking up now. Woohoo! <laughs> we made it.
made it. I tie your board to this, maybe right here. This thing right there. There are the boards. They brought us here. Nice boards. Good boards. All right. Well, here it is. Uh, I'll try and get you the other ones. We'll see. We'll make that decision later. But look, look how clear the water is. have here folks look at that shark wow all right let's go we're going back huh After the shark and after exploring around a little bit, right, we decided it was time to go. Um, Ina was a little bit tired and a little bit shook after seeing the nurse shark, so I just tied her to my board and I patted us back. We visited only the A-frame house because we wanted to paddle back before the tide changed and it would take us all the way out to the ocean. To me the A-frame house is visually the most interesting of the lot. It is iconic image of Stiltsville. Today, the houses of Stiltsville are part of the Biscayne Bay National Park, and like other communities inside parks, there has been tension about whether to tear them down and let the tide erase every trace they existed or to commemorate them as part of the colorful past of the area. These tensions predate inclusion in the park, and the park actually gets credit for coming up with a plan to help preserve them. For now, they are saved and exist with a public use clause through the non-profit Still to feel trust. As you go back and you approach the Kibiscane, just make sure not to go too far into the ocean if the tide is going out. But like I said, the ideal way to get there and come back is while this tide is still coming in. So if you get taken by the tide, it takes you into the bay and not out to the ocean. And as you're coming back here, don't come too close to the rocks. Make sure there's some space. So, uh, I think that's one thing that we got wrong and at the end of the day we had to get out right by the rocks and it was actually a little bit dangerous because we were so tired and the current was so strong still coming in that we were not able to get over it so make sure to you know leave some good space uh, between you know from from the rock Thank you. 
Gosh, it was rough. We got stuck. The tide was taking us. Went all the way there and back. Now you see this current right here going that way. <laughs> that thing was keeping us in place. We, could, we couldn't get over here, so we just got off here on the rocks. Tough. 